This is Jonathan Simpson with Warcraft Science on how to use Mapster. The information in this tutorial was correct as of Cataclysm Patch 4.0.6 and may contain errors in later versions. Mapster is an add-on that modifies the in-game world map with additional information. Not only does it display all the flight points for both Horde and Alliance, but unlike the Blizzard map, you do not have to visit a place first to see it displayed on your map. It is fully compatible with the built-in quest guide, as well as quest helper and gather mate add-ons. When you open Mapster by hitting the M key or clicking the button on the top right of the screen, you'll notice that it has the basic layout similar to Blizzard UI, although there are a number of differences. You can resize the entire map by holding left click on the arrow at the bottom right and dragging it. There is also a quest objectives drop down near the resize arrow. You can choose if you want to hide quest tracking, show world blobs, or show blobs and panels. The panels display quest text attached directly to the world map. World blobs are the shaded areas that appear on the map when the targeted quest requires you to collect items or kill monsters in a specific area. On the bottom left, you can track or untrack whatever quest you have highlighted with the indicated checkbox. On the top of the map, there are navigation dropdowns where you can choose which zone, instance, or raid you wish to view. By default, Mapster displays the area your character is currently in, however you can view any area you wish. You can also right-click anywhere on the map to zoom out, or click the zoom out button on the top of the map. Left-clicking will bring up a full-screen view of the selected zone. If you click the arrow on the top right of the map, it will minimize. Clicking the arrow again will re-maximize the map. Notice that flight points are marked. Red winged boots indicate horde flight points, blue indicate alliance, and gold indicate neutral points that can be used by both factions. The zone map drop-down on the top left will allow you to choose when you wish this feature to display. If enabled, it will place a tiny map of the entire zone that you can move wherever you wish. To open the advanced settings for Mapster, you can go through the game menu, interface, add-ons, and then select Mapster. You can type slash Mapster in chat and hit enter, or you can click the Mapster button on the top right of the world map. The first group of options is found by highlighting the Mapster category under add-ons. Here you can choose how transparent you want the different maps to be, the size of each one, and the size of the player arrow and quest indicators. You can also choose if you want to be able to navigate the zone maps by right and left click, and if you want the border to show on the map when minimized. The Profiles category lets you save your map settings to be loaded on other characters. Coordinates lets you choose if you want to use the built-in map coordinates or not, and how detailed they will be. Group Icons allows you to enable, disable, and customize the raid, party, and battlefield player icons on the various maps. Battle Map will let you choose if you want to use the Mapster Battlegrounds maps. Fog Clear is the feature that shows all the map details, even if unexplored. Instance Maps lets you select if you want to augment the Blizzard instance and raid maps with the Mapster ones. Mapster is a simple add-on that is a useful addition to anyone's gameplay experience, and I hope it treats you well. Notice the links in the description below as they are related to the video you just watched. If you found this tutorial helpful, please subscribe, click like, and favorite this video as we depend upon your support.